Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today let's brew our Colombia del Agua Jesus Nunez Natural Process Coffee as a filter offering. This coffee is really lovely. Lots of red fruit, lots of sweetness, and I really love it in our Cafe Kalita recipe. So, we're gonna need our Kalita 185 paper filter, get your mug, gram scale with timer, and we're gonna need 25 grams of our Jesus Nunez ground medium, medium fine. Um, oh, actually, this is ground medium fine. This is finer than I would traditionally go for a Kalita, and even finer than I usually start for a V60. This coffee wants to drain really, really fast, and so we needed to counteract that some by a finer grind setting. This was ground on nine on my Barazza Encore. This would be pretty close to one, which might st still be a little too coarse on a fellow oat grinder. Um, or 18 clicks on my Commandante C40. And we'll be using 400 grams of 205 degree Fahrenheit water. All right, first things first, let's wet our paper filter. Pour straight in the middle, about as heavy as this kettle is gonna let me go. Let it fill up about halfway. And then once I reach there, then I'm gonna lightly rinse the waves of our filter. I fill up heavy because then it gets hotter. We've got more thermal mass in here. It's gonna preheat this brewer, get it ready for extraction, which is extra important for a coffee that wants to drain really fast the way this Columbia does. Let that drain through. Dump our water. Let's dose our coffee straight in the middle. Shake our brewer flat. We're fine, and I ground this on the brazza, so you're gonna have a few clumps. That'll be all right. So after our second pour, we're gonna have agitated everything in here. Tear your scale, get your stopwatch ready, and let's brew. I've seen this recipe before. Um, this is gonna be offered in the cafe, and this is the exact recipe we're gonna use. I'm gonna start my timer. I'm going to bloom with 50 grams of water. I'm gonna to try to touch all the coffee. Some of this wants to rise up, just run over that with your kettle. Around 50 grams. It's already really aromatic, sweet. At 30 seconds, I'm gonna pour a heavy spiral up to 160 grams. Punch it. and six, finally around the edge. And then at 45 seconds, we'll spiral up to 220, drop. This is about three circles, two, and around the edge. There we go. So those first three pours raise our water level, really set us up for a great extraction. And I wanna keep this water level high um, so that I keep this hotter. So here at 110, I'm gonna pour again, this time up to 280. Drop. Nice steady flow rate, keeping our water level high. It's gonna give us an even flow rate. An even spiral is going to keep our extraction even when we have this full amount of water. 135. Punch it again. You should pour heavy enough to where you see it stir up when you drop into it. And target is 340 on that one. And at two minutes, this is gonna be my final pour, up to 400 grams total. At this stage, you can see your flow rate really speeding up. Drop. I'm trying to pour the same amount of spirals every single time so that I have an even amount of agitation. And my last spiral, I'm trying to hit the inside of these waves to push this coffee back down, keep all this coffee under my water. Um, it's gonna drain pretty quick, but if our coffee drains like right as you're pouring it or before every single pour, we ground too coarse. 
this coffee is gonna be kind of grassy. It's gonna be sour. We grind too fine and our brew stalls out and honestly, it drains like a normal Kalita around 315, three and a half minutes. Then we grind too fine and it's going to um, muddle our flavor and we're gonna lose long lasting sweetness. We're gonna get this drying cocoa, like really malty finish to it. Um, so our target is actually around 240 to three minutes. A pretty good range there. And when we do that, oof, really aromatic. Um, you're gonna taste raspberry jam. It's a really sweet confectionery raspberry, that tart red fruit. Um, we're going to taste raw wine. So red wine, really rich. Um, we're gonna get dark chocolate. It's really sweet, red fruit, excellent flavor. Serve and enjoy.